Well, welcome back to yet another season of DXB Today. Here's what we've got on today's show. We meet one of Turkey's biggest stars at the Arab Media Forum. We celebrate the return of Dr. Sultan Al Niyadi as he safely came back from space. And of course, we caught up with one and only Jay Sean while he was down for his Indie Vibes concert here in Dubai. Welcome back to the brand new season. What a summer it's been. A long summer. Looks like everyone survived. Ladies first. Good summer. Great summer. Survived. Happy to be here. And we had such a great summer here in Dubai. There was still so much going on, wasn't there? I mean, there was the uh, DSS sale, which mm -hmm. was absolutely amazing. The concerts as well. I sent just me. He was, on the, he was on the mic and he sounded amazing. Not only that, we got to see all of the Beat the Heat concerts as well. So I was very happy because you had uh, Kairoki from Egypt. Yeah. You had Sharmoufas also from Egypt. Mm -hmm. You had the incredible band Autostrad from Jordan. I was a very happy boy. Yeah, look, I, Tom's not going to know the artist I'm about <laughs> to mention. That's Davido. Have you heard of him? Very much so. You yes. have, you have. He was, he's huge for Afro Beats for Nigeria. He came through performing at Coca Cola Arena for DSS. So, I mean, really doing it for the Afro Beat Nation, I think. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was, it was an interesting summer, I think. Um, obviously, looking at the sort of population numbers and just getting a vibe of what's going on in the city at the moment, a lot of people relocating to Dubai over the course of the summer. Schools are absolutely rammed. And if mm -hmm. anyone's been out on the roads uh, of late, you'll notice that uh, it's been turned up a little yeah. bit since everyone came back from summer. But I'm actually very excited because of the new plans to expand Hesse Street. I think that's going to help a lot of people and it's going to raise my rent in JVC, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Probably will. We'll hear about it. Might need to move on in with Tom for a bit, for sure. <laughs> it's the, uh, yeah, the expansion. <laughs> my only concern about that, and this is, of course, the big announcement over the weekend, uh, upwards of 700 million, million dirhams worth of investment into Hesse Street, is um, it's going to take a while, isn't it? Yeah, um, they're going to have to close it while it's being built, aren't they? There's going to be a little <laughs> bit of headache, I think, uh, in the building of it. But uh, it'll all be good in the end, as they say. Yeah, look, today's show, I'm excited to talk about Dr. Sultan Al Niyadi. I mean, what he's done is phenomenal. Everyone's talking about it. There's one thing I don't know if you guys know about, though. He said one of his most favourite surprises when he was up in space was a handwritten letter from his mum. And Aww. she just was sharing with him how proud she is of him. And he actually recently shared that at the Arab Media Forum, which we'll be getting into as well. But Sparis, would space I hope that's not you? one of the five things you didn't know about Sultan and because that's coming up <laughs> later on in the show. Yeah. <laughs> that what really the, is. What else did we yeah. learn? We learned that he, had, he has to be able to swim, doesn't he? Uh, because of landing, apparently, in the sea. Mm -hmm. Oh, and mango, mango salads. He likes a mango salad, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, I mean, he does probably love his own company. As well. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're enjoying the chat, but we want to include more people in it. So let's find out who's going to be our guest co-host for today. Hi, everyone. It's Millie. And if you thought the DXB Today team could get rid of me that easily, well, you thought wrong because I'm back and I'm so excited to be here co-hosting the first episode of season three. We're going to go and talk about all the upcoming events in the Dubai calendar. So let's go. Well, Millie will be joining us right here on the DXB Today sofa just in a few minutes. Now, our parent company, Dubai Media, had an event to inaugurate a fresh new season of shows and movies coming out of the summer. And what better place to launch than the Arab Media Forum? Ahmed went down to find out a lot more. I'm here at the Dubai Media Gala Dinner, where they're going to be launching the strategies that they're going to be following for the next five years. Follow me as we know more. Specifically, if you want to discuss the TV channel's strategy, uh, they're based on four pillars. So the four pillars that we've concentrated on are Emiratization in terms of the new faces we have. So we have uh, uh, young Emirati uh, faces in terms of presenters, uh, content creators that have joined as well uh, DMI. Uh, our content has, has become more interactive, more engaging, um, multi-platform. So we're not just concentrating on content on TV, but for different platforms use. Uh, we're also looking at the Dubai D33 agenda. So all our content and programming in general would have the Dubai D33 agenda in its uh, focus and its objectives in terms of the content creation, in terms of conception of the idea as well. 
branding is very, a very important uh, part of our like identity and stuff, and we have to make sure that our brand is actually consistent and coherent. Uh, so we do make sure that we keep our brand across the years. No matter how much we change our brand, we try to stay uh, true to our own selves and true to our own di identities. Our channels portray our image of, or the image of Dubai to the world, and that's something that we need to make sure that is consistent across all our channels and our branding. We're uh, producing now Shark Tank Dubai. It's the biggest, uh, biggest business reality show uh, internationally. Uh, so we, we, we're hoping it's going to be a big hit on Dubai TV. Also, it, uh, it's, not a TV, it's not only a TV show. Uh, it's, uh, it goes along with the D33 vision of supporting the economy, supporting uh, new businesses. What is coming up for you in the near future? Is there any new project that you're working on that the viewers should know yeah. about? Now I, I have a Turkish TV series in the main uh, channel in Turkey. Uh, it's about uh, uh, psychological drama. Yeah, it's a different genre at yeah. this time. Yeah. Uh, but after that, uh, I have a production company and we are working on a historical uh, movie. And we are working on it. And also we have some movie projects and uh, digital platform projects. Uh, and just, just we are working on it. Do you yeah. think any of these uh, upcoming movies or series would have Dubai maybe in it at some point? Yeah, yeah. So actually, yes. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, I have one uh, project. Uh, I need to come and shoot in Dubai yeah. part of the movie. Okay. So yeah, it's the world is going to be a collaboration. Yeah. So we need to do that. Yeah. Uh, because uh, the TV series is uh, like a bridge, the cultural bridge, or yeah. the movies is like a cultural bridge. So we need to use this bridge, and I think it's it's nice. So a whole host of international talent turning out to the official launch for a brand new season. And make sure you keep it locked here on Dubai One TV. Of course, all of our sister stations as well. Uh, Millie has joined us live here on the sofa. A new look mm -hmm. to a new season. Welcome. How's it all been? Great. You guys have had a little bit of a glow up here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what I really want to know is, do you still do the quiz at the end? <laughs> <laughs> the quiz is a bit different. We're going to get to know you, Millie, if that's okay. Oh, in 60 okay. seconds still. Yeah. Okay, great, yeah. as long as I win. There's no wrong answers. Yeah, okay, we're not going to throw you in it. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. How's the summer been, all right? It's great. We were just saying um, it's basically Christmas, so um, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, the next three months are just packed with events. Mm. Yeah. I mean, let, let's talk about the summer quickly before we get into those mm -hmm. events, because Usually we tend to slow things down in summer. I, I take it as time off a bit, mm. but there was no such thing. I mean, no. we had stars coming in all over. We had so many things for families to do, the mm -hmm. families that were still here in Dubai. Tell me more about the highlights of the summer and what went down in Dubai. I completely agree. I think it's the same. We're running at 10X, but we've just, we're doing it indoors. Mm. Um, there were some great things at the Dubai Opera House. I saw the John Williams versus Hans Zimmer concert, which was incredible. Um, loads of great music festivals and concerts as well, um, of which we have more coming up in mm -hmm. the next few months, but those were definitely the highlights for me. Yeah. yeah. Let's That's talk great. about some of those concerts, because I know that there's uh, a few. Uh, John Paul is coming, Sean Paul, I mean. Yeah. Uh, Sting, of course. Who else can we look forward to? Um, there's mixtape coming up. We've got Venga Boys, <gasps> bit of a throwback, wow. yeah, for any wow. of the 90s kids out there. Yeah. Um, Blue are performing um, in a couple of weeks, I think, at Irish Village as mm -hmm. well. So I'm all about the nostalgia, in case you can't tell. Yeah, well, Ronan Keating was just here, so I feel like that's a wave yeah, that's, that's happening. This is my vibe. Yeah, yeah. For it seems sure. to be, yeah. I was actually talking to someone over the weekend about this, and I think because of the economic situation in a lot of the European countries at the moment, a lot of the traditional venues that get big artists just can't afford them at the moment, mm. can't afford to put them on. So a lot of artists are looking to this region mm -hmm. for gigs, hence why 
uh, we've been told by Coco and Arena, Etihad Arena, um, the Dubai Rugby Sevens, watch this space mm -hmm. because some more big names mm -hmm. will be announced uh, in the next couple of days. Yeah, mm -hmm. can't Did I just say Dubai Rugby Sevens? You did. I've got to get fined. You're in trouble now. <laughs> <You're gonna be laughs> you did. It's the Dubai Sevens. I've just reprogrammed my brain as well after <laughs> that. It's rebranded. It's the Dubai Sevens the Dubai now. Sevens. Ain't all about the rugby now. No, it's about but the music. Yeah. It's not just about music, though, because I know there's quite a lot of comedy that's going to be happening soon. What, where can we look forward to some of that? Yes, um, I personally am a big fan of the Laughter Factory. Um, they are responsible for bringing out some of the biggest, as we now know them, comedians in the world before they blew up. So mm. people like Michael McIntyre, etc. They're always bringing out new acts. I think that's a, and they do it every month. I think that's a, a great little event to look forward to every month. Mm. And now, I mean, what I love about Cosmo is what you've actually done is created a whole community of, of incredible women, not just here in the city, but globally as well, that just come together. And you guys are actually solidifying that, aren't you? Yeah. With, with loads of things for us to actually get together for the yes. next few months. Tell me more about that. Um, so we have a whole jam-packed Q4 of events. But one of the things I'm really looking forward to in November, every Wednesday, we're launching a fashion ladies' night at the Five on the Palm. So we've got a fashion show, there's food, drinks, amazing goodie bags for all the ladies that come along. And we did it back in March and it is so much fun. So um, I would love to see you all there. Even though you're not <laughs> ladies, you're invited. Oh, yeah, I would love to be there. <laughs> Are you doing Cosmo Bachelor of the Year again? We haven't actually done that for a while, but uh, it's one of the most requested events to bring back. So I, I was think... a candidate in 2018 and I didn't place. So. <laughs> okay, <laughs> noted. <laughs> back. <laughs> noted, <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> well, something we love on DXB today is showcasing some amazing local artists and emerging talents. And we've got an awesome band performing later on on the show. So let's take a look at who they are. Hi guys, we're the Ark. My name's Carrie, all the way from Scotland. We've got Ariel here from Argentina, Wilson from Colombia, and of course, Wally from Philippines. We're quite an eclectic band, but tonight we're going to do something special for you guys. Kind of a little bit of a funky vibe. It's called Fire. That's right, Misty and Emma Langton coming your way. Stay tuned. How incredible. I, I mean, I've seen a bit of their performance uh, and I'm telling you, you're in for an absolute treat. It's very exciting. Uh, but right after the break, we're going to be getting great insights into the world of media with the one and only Chris Fade and of course, Anas Bakash at the Arab Media Forum. So don't go anywhere. 